And so people treat it as like a like a blank slate, tabula rasa, to impose my own world changing um, schemas onto blockchain. The trouble is that blockchain is no tabula rasa. It was a very very specialized algorithm that did one thing, and it doesn't even do it very well. If you care about electricity consumption, it's the most inefficient way to buy a cup of coffee. And it has all of these externalized costs that will drive economists mad eventually. Like who's really paying for the power? Um, so it's not magical. It did a magic thing. It, it solved e-cash without an umpire. That's magical, but it's not magic. It's a piece of applied cryptography that produces digitally signed records and it crowdsources the oversight of electronic cash. It's very, very specific. And um, no engineer should pick up a tool that was finely crafted for one particular job and pick it up and use it for anything else. Um, you've, got to, you've got to look at that marvellous new tool, set it down, think about what it does, and think about how you can you know, copy it. Um, and that's what R3 did. They said, look, there are things that blockchain does. We want to copy that. Um, in other very specific areas. And that, you know, I think that that's what innovation and digital transformation are all about. Um, being clear about what problem you're trying to solve and what the properties are of a good solution.